Okay, my name is Milko Rivera, and I am the director for the Mexico Tourism Board in London. I am an economist by training, uh, studied in Mexico City, and then I did my master's at the London School of Economics here in London, uh, also in economics. Uh, nothing, oh, no background in tourism at the beginning. Uh, worked for several direct-to-consumer uh, companies, and then um, basically had my own business. I got sold, and I was invited into the Ministry of Tourism of Mexico by, uh, by one of the ministers, and that's how I entered the tourism. And then uh, I've been in the uh, tourism ministry in the Mexico Tourism Board, then went to the Foreign Office, and then I am back at the Tourism Board. So that's a little bit of uh, the promotional, international promotional background that I have. I am responsible, basically, for the promotion of Mexico as a tourism destination uh, in the UK and uh, in uh, most of Northern Europe, which is basically includes uh, Ireland, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, and Finland. And I also have Portugal. Uh, and uh, that is basically my responsibility, uh, to bring more tourists to Mexico and to promote Mexico. Uh, we are a big country. We got 120 million people. We are diverse. We're big. We, have, of course, definitely have sun. We have sun and beach. That is one of the most incredible things that we have. But we do not only have sun and beach. We also have sun and beach with Mayan ruins. Sun and Beach with Aztec uh, cities, Sun and Beach with colonial towns. We are leaders in luxury, in scuba diving, in scuba diving, in uh, LGBT. Um, Mexican cuisine is now an intangible World Heritage of Humanity. And we have uh, 27 World Heritage Sites, cultural World Heritage Sites, five natural uh, heritage sites and two intangible ones, which is basically uh, Mexican cuisine. Nobody else got that designation as a cuisine, not even the French. And the mariachis are also an intangible world heritage of humanity. We do a little bit of the usual uh, suspects and we do try to be as original as possible. We participate in tourism fairs, both for direct-to-consumer as well as for the trade. We do, of course, direct-to-consumer campaigns and campaigns with our uh, partners, co-op, co cooperative promotional, cooperative uh, partnerships. We do events. You know, so there are several, a great deal number of events that we try to do along uh, as, as the year goes by. Uh, seminars, you know, seminars with, with the trade, seminars with uh, travel agents, uh, both for a number of travel agents or for their employees. Uh, it's basically training. Uh, tr fam trips, of course, to Mexico. We are aiming at above 25 um, uh, segment uh, that has disposable income. Uh, we, we want, as I said, we want to make the people that go to Mexico to spend more money and to stay longer. That doesn't mean that we're just going to get more expensive, but we want to give the best value for money. Uh, we don't want to compete with price. Everybody can compete with price, and it's a lose-lose situation eventually. Uh, what we want to do is to become the best destination uh, that gives you the best value for money. You know? We will give you an incredible product, and we will be very competitive in what we can offer. One of the big challenges is competition. Uh, a lot of people in a lot of countries have noticed that tourism is a fantastic business, uh, and countries are getting into the business simply because they have figured out that it is a fantastic way to increase the quality of life for their population and for, their, and, and for everybody in their countries. Uh, Mexico figured out a, a long time ago. Uh, we've, I think we've done a good work. But uh, how do you differentiate yourself from all the other destinations? Because you know? there's some fantastic things out there. Um, and part of what we say is travel. Travel everywhere. Go see everything and come to Mexico among those travels. No, you have to. Um, it's not that we are, we are not better than other destinations. We are different. And this uniqueness as a country, this uniqueness as a culture, uh, this uniqueness that is Mexico, is the message that we want to give out there 
that it is simply an experience that if you like to travel, if you like to meet uh, new people, new experiences, and actually do it and have a lot of fun in a warm place, Mexico is definitely one of those places that you cannot miss. And we want repeat customers, no? which means that also it is, we want to give out the message out there that it is a very large country. And you could spend years and not get to know everything that there is to offer. No? So definitely, uh, how do you get that message across? It is, it is a challenge, no? but it is part of what we're trying to do, accomplish. Something that Mexico would be really proud of is definitely that we are the only country that got uh, intangible world heritage of humanity for Mexican food and Mexican cuisine. Uh, of course, not all of Mexican cuisine. Mexico is a very large country. And, and you might think immediately, tacos. Uh, tacos did not get intangible world heritage. It is the cuisine that basically comes from the area around Mexico City, basically where Puebla is. And what happened there is that you have the traditional Mexican cooking that comes all the way back to the traditional Indian population that was there, got mixed by the colonial um, Europeans that, Mexi that were in Mexico that when it was conquered by Spain, they invented a whole different type of cuisine using local Indian ingredients and traditions with new European ingredients and traditions, and they invented something completely different to new, which is basically where Mexican food comes from, all of it, but in particular the one that comes from uh, that area, that is the Oaxaca, Puebla area, is completely unique and different in every respect to anything that there is out, out there. And it is not one of the most fantastic things. It, it is, even though it is very special, it is not so special that it will be considered something of uh, exotic, weird, you know, you go to a country and, oh, they consider this a delicacy. And it's only something that three people consider a delicacy because it's something local and really cultural. No, no, no. This, basically, everybody that tries it, everybody that sees it, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. And it's not only that, it's also dynamic in that it cherishes what it was in the past, but the new chefs that are coming along are changing it, you know? So, so it's not only that you got uh, the traditional Mexican uh, cuisine, it's the traditional me Mexican cuisine as a living, developing, uh, dynamic entity. So you have uh, two of the uh, best chefs in the world, one of those, uh, you, that list that says um, the 50 best restaurants in the world, Mexico City has two. And these chefs are using the traditional, the traditional uh, cuisine and they're making new things with it. So basically, that is just amazing. What is happening with Mexican food is amazing. And uh, being uh, given that recognition, I think it's something that Mexico is trying to put out there because there is no better way to know Mexicans than with his food, with his food and his drinks. We have tequila. No? We have tequila, we have mezcal, we have, we have a spicy food. So it is a little bit of what Mexico is. No? It's delicious, it's tasty, but it does have a kick to it. No, and that's basically uh, what Mexico is. No, we are we're spicy in, in, in our character. There, is, uh, there are so many. And I could go with, uh, I could say, oh, I love uh, scuba diving in Cozumel, or I love to go, I have done the whale sharks in, in the north of the uh, peninsula, of the Yucatan Peninsula, and I have done the diving in the cenotes. I love that because I like to be in the outdoors. But something that not a lot of people know about and that is not your usual destination for UK uh, travelers would be Guadalajara, which is about the second largest city in Mexico, that you would go to the Pacific. It's close to Puerto Vallarta, which is a colonial town right on the beach. But the interesting thing with Guadalajara is where most Mexican arts and crafts come from. The culture is fantastic. And... Why would I go there? Because one of the really cool things to do that not a lot of people do, but it would be very fun, is that there is a train that takes you from Guadalajara through the agave fields. That is, agave is a plant where tequila comes from. 
It takes you through the agave fields, which are a world heritage site of uh, humanity. And you get to the town of Tequila. There is a town of Tequila. Once you get to the town of Tequila, of course, you stay over and you have to go to a te tequila distillery. And it's a tequila distillery, but it's an artisanal tequila distillery. It's not, your, it's not one of the industrial ones. So you actually get to do your tequila. You get to have a fantastic time, eat, uh, visit the town. The place is completely colonial in its, in its uh, surrounding. And it is an absolutely fantastic little experience not to do that. To go to the, tequila, the town of Tequila in Guadalajara, in Jalisco, and uh, take the train and visit the UNESCO World Heritage Site. And after that, you can go to the beach in Puerto Vallarta. No? So you get a little bit of everything. 